Welcome back to another Tuesday drum lesson sponsored by Jamit.com. In this lesson, I'm going to go over Racer X's technical difficulties. This is a really up-tempo groove with a lot of energy around the toms, some double bass included, so uh, take it slow and work your way up. To help you learn this, make sure you load it onto your Jamit app. It allows you to slow down this intro portion that we're going to go over and uh, even repeat that sequence. You can turn the rest of the music off and hear just the drums alone, or you can turn the drums off and play along with the rest of the music. It's a great learning tool, so make sure you check it out. Load technical difficulties onto Jamit, and what I'm going to do is go over just measures two and three of the intro because this main groove repeats, and it's uh, got enough stuff packed into it that uh, we can do a whole lesson on it. There's a couple ways you can do this groove. If your right foot is fast enough, you can do it single bass all the way up until the 30-second notes. I use the double bass, but you might even be fast enough to do the 30-second uh, notes with just a single bass. Measure two, the counting of this is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. What happens with the low tom except for the and of one, the low tom is just playing eighth notes and then the and of... A four is also missing. So if you just look at the low tom. On 4E, I like to do just a flam here. And uh, that way I can keep the, the eighth note pattern going. One E and four E and uh. If you don't want to do that flam, four E and uh, you could just do it right and left. I recommend practicing that over and over until your body's comfortable with it and you can play it without looking at the music. You memorize it. That way you can speed it up and you're not thinking about reading it and playing it at the same time. The second measure of that groove, which is actually measure three, is very similar, but there is an and on the low tom after count one. So it starts out almost the same. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. And here we have 30 second notes. 32nd notes, you count like 16th notes, but you only count every other stroke. So it would be 4, E, oops, that's not the snare, 4, E, and, a. Uh. 4, E, and, a. Uh. Don't rush that last, uh, on the bass drum. The tendency is to play, but there's actually a little break because that's a 16th note on the low time. 4, E, and, wait for the, uh, uh, 4, E, and, uh. This beat repeats, so you gotta make sure you come back with one. So four B e and a one B e and a two B e and a three B e and a four B e one B e and a two B e and a three B e and a four B e and a. You can just pull out that fill from count four with the thirty-second notes and use it in your own drum beats. I, I like to start it on count three so that that snare drum completes the back beat of the rhythm. Let me show show you what I mean. Start on three, one, two. One, two. I hope you enjoyed this drum lesson sponsored by Jamit, and you can take this groove and learn it. But not only that, take the techniques in here and apply it to stuff you already do so you're developing your style. Keep drumming.